Today we are building this small 4 inch subwoofer with passive radiator. A short while ago Tangman sent me uh, this subwoofer bundle. Um, it's a 4 inch uh, subwoofer driver uh, and a slightly larger passive radiator. Uh, now this is quite an incredible little system um, you can build a subwoofer with this that it's about uh, I think about a three liter volume yes there we go three liter volume uh, which has a um, minus 10 dB frequency uh, at about 33 Hertz which is quite exceptional now I can show you what that uh, amplitude response looks like so here you can see at uh, uh, minus 10 dB you have um, uh, it's just over 30 or th uh, yeah, just over 30 Hertz uh, at minus 6 you have uh, but I would say what's that 37 uh, minus 3 uh, it goes up to about uh, 67 Hertz uh, now that's quite impressive for a small driver uh, especially a 4 inch um, now they asked me to build um, this little subwoofer here you can see a picture of it uh, as you can see it's really really small um, if I scroll down you can see uh, they include a bolt plan with it uh, it's only about 230 millimeters long and about 185 millimeters wide um, and about the same height uh, but just yes 190 millimeters high uh, so it's a really really small um, so you can download the PDF of the build plan. Uh, I did notice there is one or two measurements missing, but you can actually work out what they are. Uh, so I didn't have a problem doing that. Uh, this is built with uh, uh, 18 millimeter wood. Uh, you can use uh, a birch ply or a uh, MDF like I did. It's got a really thick baffle, as you can see over there. It's about 30 millimeters wide, or even more than 30 millimeters wide. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, I'm going to go ahead now and um, show you just the drivers, uh, just some actually some images that I took of the drivers, just so that you can get a better idea of what they look like in real life. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and build this. Um, yeah, something else I also wanted to show you is uh, they also sent me a little small amplifier that actually goes with this particular build. Um, this is, I think it's an 80 watt class D amplifier. Um, it has uh, uh, auto on, um, variable phase control from 0 to 180, uh, crossover frequency that you can set from 70 to 160 hertz, uh, your volume control, and then RCA in. Um, so very nice compact little amplifier that I'm going to use uh, with this build. So uh, let's get on and I'll show you what those drivers look like. Uh, here you can see uh, what the drivers look like. I just put a, a anti cutter next to it there so that you can get an idea of scale. Uh, but this 4 inch driver is quite beefy. It really has a big big magnet on the back um, and it can handle quite a bit of power. Uh, the passive radiator is just a rubber, rubber and plastic affair. Um, the 4 inch drive itself uh, is mainly constructed from a uh, plastic material but it's really very very solid. Uh, this is the amplifier that they sent with uh, and just a close-up of the controls. So let's get into the build. I started off by assembling the enclosure using 18mm MDF. Um, just uh, gluing the panels together with normal PVA wood glue and using my brad nailer to secure the panels into place. Um, I actually built the entire box before I even cut any of the holes for the drivers. Um, and later on in the video you will see how I went about uh, cutting those holes uh, using templates. Uh, some, of the, some of the drivers are, or actually uh, all the drivers are um, truncated, which means they have flat sides. Uh, that makes uh, installing uh, quite challenging. Uh, but with uh, the templates that I made, you'll see how you can actually quite easily cut accurate holes for truncated drivers.
Maybe you can see uh, I'm cutting a hole for the passive radiator to fit into. It's just a circle that's the outside diameter of the passive radiator. Um, then I am using uh, flat pieces to uh, line them up against the flat pieces of the passive radiator. Uh, so it's sort of a template that you're doing in two stages. Um, and uh, gluing those pieces together and ultimately they will uh, allow my router with a trim router bit to run along that edge and cut the exact hole um, precisely the size of that passive radiator. I'm using this uh, router bit that I got from uh, bangdo.com. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, and, and I'm going to use this to cut the uh, outside shape uh, following the template uh, for the passive radiator so that it'll fit in there exactly. Um, after I've cut uh, this outside um, shape according to the template, I can then come back and use a uh, my circle jig uh, fitted to the router with a straight cut bit just to uh, cut the circle um, in the middle and then we have a hole straight through that side. Points driver I'm doing almost exactly the same thing uh, I'm constructing a uh, template um, and I'll use my uh, flush trim router bit to then cut the hole for this driver uh, so it's almost exactly the same procedure uh, that I did for the passive radiator
I think this little small subwoofer came out really nice. I picked a nice bright color for it and I hope you guys like it too. Um, but let's go do a sound test and you can hear how low this thing can go. So thank you everyone for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. If you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, ring that notification bell to get notified of new videos when they come out. Also would like to say a big thank you to Tankband for sending this out to me. I really enjoyed this project. Uh, so keep watching for the sound test and uh, for more projects coming in the future. Adios.